Hi guys! So I'm sitting here in my pajamas and I got a tripod for my camera finally and while I don't have autofocus yet because I still am using my old camera and I haven't bought my new camera yet because I can't afford it. First row problems. Um, I am now on my camera instead of using my phone and my tripod instead of using a stack of books on a table and hoping it works. The lighting in here sucks. I'm sorry. I'm going to steal my mother's giant uh, lamp that she has for, um, what's that condition called? It's like sad or something where you get upset and depressed in the winter because you don't have enough sunlight. So she has a sun lamp. I'm going to steal that next time I film, which should be here shortly from all my December boxes, and um, try that out and see if, how it works. But I really was cleaning out my room and Yes, I'm cleaning out my room at like 10 o'clock at night, and I'm really over the fact that I have all these empties laying around, so I'm going to film my empties video and throw away all of my empties, and I figured even though my lighting's crappy, and this is all experimental with the new camera, I'm going to try it and see and hope and pray it comes out so that I can get rid of all this crap. So we're going to go through all my empties. I've been saving these for a while. A lot of these are home fragrance because I tend to blow through that faster than my beauty stuff. I have a couple food, um, or at least one food that I see in here that was a favorite enough to mention, and a couple other things. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab stuff, and just as we go, I'll put it in the Walmart bag of doom, and hopefully I'll be able to throw it away when I'm done instead of refilming this. So yeah, the first thing I have is the Airwick air fresheners that I use and this is in the scent of Sweet Pear and Amber Woods. This was a Cuyahoga Valley National Park scent. This I think was pretty local to us here in Ohio because we have the Cuyahoga Valley here so I think they like marketed this for Ohio. There's a little bit left in here but I wasn't like hugely fond of this because it was actually a very light scent and I had this in my bathroom because I like the smell of it but it didn't cover like the cat box smell that's in the hallway so it was like a love-hate thing. I took it out and put a stronger smelling one in. There's a little bit left, but not enough to really use, so... I mean, that's about... That's it, so I'm out. But, yeah, it was a nice scent. It was a good scent. It kind of reminded me of Fall in Ohio, so it was it was a pleasant scent. Uh, the next thing I have is a candle from Bath & Body Works, and this was probably my favorite candle of this year, and it was the Raspberry Peach Macaroon. This was a limited time... And oh my god, it smells like you're baking cookies. I forgot how good this smelled. I've had this for so long. Oh, it smells so good. It's like a mix between cookies and marshmallows, and I don't know why. It was, let's see, what did they say? French cookie celebrating a unique blend of ripe raspberries, juicy peach, and almond cream. This, like, was the scent of summer and spring and everything for me. So this has some really good memories with it. I'm very sad to see it go. I will probably make something out of the jar because I'm really big into refurbishing my jars. And I've noticed that these little ones are really good for a lot of different things. So I might end up filming a project if my camera is actually going to cooperate with me. I might actually do a project on what I rehouse my candles as. Um, the next thing was a food... Um, empty that I had that I really liked and I thought it was unique and I don't know again if this was just for us here in Ohio or if this is everywhere. I know sometimes we get stuff that other places don't have and people go, oh I have no idea what you're talking about. I have friends everywhere. So I have friends on the west coast, I have friends in other countries and a lot of my friends on the west coast because I lived there for six years are like, I can't get the crap that you get. So I was like, oh well that's sad, but I don't know about these. These were the Lay's Stacks Korean barbecue chips and they were freaking fabulous. They were a little bit weird, but at the same time it was the kind of weird that you can't stop eating. So these were really good. I like these a lot. I finished these in like two nights at work, so I was kind of a pig about that. Uh, the next thing I'm pulling out is a shampoo and this was the Suave um, black raspberry and white tea. I really like this. This was a color care shampoo. It smelled really good. Yeah, it, it smells like tea. Like, it smells like something I would drink and not something I would put on my hair. And I liked that about this. It smelled really good. So I just used it up and didn't need any more. This was a conditioner. So that's just odd because usually I use shampoo first and not conditioner. But this time I used the conditioner first because I had the big shampoo and the little conditioner. But that's odd for me. I don't normally use conditioner fast. 
The next thing I have was a fall scent body wash, and this was the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin from Bath & Body Works. This smelled just like pumpkin time. It, was, it smelled like fall to me. This was harvest pumpkin time. And I really like this. My daughter really liked this. She helped me use it up, and she was like really sad when we were out of it, but that's the nature of Bath & Body Works stuff. You overpay for it, then you run out and you're sad, whatever. This was a body splash that was Avon, and I got this from a friend like, oh gosh, three years ago now, maybe, maybe even four, I'm not sure. Um, it was a while, but this was the apple and walnut. Oh, it smells so good. And this was also another thing that just reminded me of fall. So this year I finally finished it off, and I just was kind of sad when I couldn't get any more out of it. There's, there's a little bit left. Um, yeah, it just smells, it smells like fall. It smells like when you go pick apples off the or apple orchard trees and you go home and you make pie. That's what it smells like. But it's not overwhelmingly smelly. It's just like apples and walnuts. It smells so good. Um, here's a little candle. This was pumpkin pecan waffles. Oh, I love this. I have this in the hand sanitizer, which is in my bathroom right now, and every time I wash my hands, I want to eat my fingers because it smells so good. So this was a fabulous candle. I don't usually reuse the minis because I haven't found a use for them yet. If anybody has any ideas on how to reuse the little tiny mini jars, link me something in the comments because I'd like to know. Um, here's a anti-back fave, or a fave? I'm not doing a favorites video. I'm doing an empties video. Here's an anti-back empty, and this was Kitchen Lemon. This is always in my kitchen in one form or another, either foam or regular or whatever else they have. Um, kitchen Lemon is my kitchen scent. Everybody knows it, and they supply me with it. My sister is my dealer for this stuff, so when I run out, I just go to her house and steal one from her, and that's that. Another automatic... Automatic? automatic spray scent filler thing for my airwigs. I had uh, the Walmart brand of the apple cinnamon. These came in a two pack and I used one of them up. I just love apple cinnamon so it's a great scent. You can't get anything more out of that. It's gone. Um, another anti-back. This was lemon chiffon tart. I believe this was also in my kitchen and I was using them simultaneously. My kitchen lemon and this one at the same time until I ran out of them both. This one was a sweeter version of the kitchen lemon yeah it had like it had a more sugary scent to it and it was more like candy than it was lemon so i liked it but it wasn't like my favorite favorite um i have a generic walmart shave gel i tend to buy the generics instead of the name brands because they work just the same and i don't care about the smells as long as they get the job done i have oh i loved these these were I want to say this was an Ipsy bag, but I'm not sure. It might have been Birchbox or Beauty Box 5, but I want to say it was either Ipsy or Birchbox. These were the Skin Ice Icelandic Ice Iceland. The Skin Iceland um glacial cleansing cloths. These were freaking awesome. They not only got off all my makeup in one go, I mean swipe swipe gone. It was just they they soothed your skin. It really did relax you and as somebody who works third shift, when you take everything off, you want to be relaxed and cleansed and feel really good. And for some reason, these were just freaking fabulous. And they're really on the pricey side for me for something like this. I normally would not buy, you know, for... My cat's like spastically throwing her toys in the air. I hope she doesn't knock over my camera. So, don't Luna. Um, these are expensive. They're I think they're like $15 for... Well, let me look it up. $15 for 30 So yeah, they're 15 bucks for 30 cloths, which is on the more expensive side for me. I tend to get things like the Simple Cloths or the Neutrogena Cloths, where you get 45 for $6. And I like these, but it was a no-go. My battery light is flashing, and I really hope it doesn't, like, die on me. Because I have a lot more to go. Okay, so crisis averted. The battery is charged. Doing this take two halfway through we'll see how it went hopefully my edits are okay and i think i'm in focus so let's continue with the rest of the empties all right next thing i'm going to pull out is my toothpaste because this was freaking amazing toothpaste and the only reason that 
I didn't buy this again is because it wasn't whitening. Um, and I really like to use a whitening toothpaste. Just, you know, I used to be a smoker. It was three years ago, but I still drink a lot of caffeine, so they're kind of yellow. Um, but this was the Crest Adventurous Mint Chocolate Track. This tasted like mint chocolate chip ice cream, and it was a toothpaste. So this rocked. My kids liked it. I liked it. It was fabulous. The next empty I have is, um, generic... Neutrogena makeup remover wipes from Walmart. These were 40, I think. Yeah, 40 for like, you know, three, four, five bucks somewhere in there. I buy the cheap makeup remover wipes. I liked these. There's actually a couple of these left because when they get down to the last like two wipes in a box in a package, they're really super like sopping wet. And I find that with all makeup remover wipes. So usually I leave the last like two or three in here. Sometimes I'll take them out if it's not like too much of a hassle and I'll throw them in a regular Ziploc baggie, let it air out overnight, and then it evaporates enough that I can use the last like two or three. But I'm not going to bother because these are so cheap and I have more, so it doesn't matter. Um, the next thing I have is actually a breath freshener thing. It's these Icebreakers Cool Mints, and these are in the flavor Cool Mint. And I really like these things. These are so awesome. Um, I like this particular flavor. I don't like the other flavors, so I think these are the best ones, but I use these all the time. They're always in my purse, so I thought I'd share with you. I'm not exactly sure why. Something smells really good in here, and I think it's my candle. I'm not I'm not sure. Um, next, I have another Airwick freshener, and this one is in um, Isle Royale, which is Sugar Maple and Hazelnut Crisp. There's none left whatsoever at all. Oh, there's a little... Yeah, this smells really good. I like this one. This one is also not a terribly strong scent, so, <coughs> excuse me, um, it was not terribly strong, so it was kind of like a medium toss-up scent. You know, probably not something I'll buy again. It smells really good, but it's not strong enough for my house, for what I want it to be. Um, next I have a, oh, I really like this stuff. This was Pacifica Dreamy Youth. Um, day and night face cream. I used actually use this at night only because it does not have an SPF in it and I like my day creams to have an SPF. So I just used this at night and it was wonderful. It made my skin really moisturized. It is also vegan and cruelty free so if that's your cup of tea this is a good moisturizer for you. Um, it is on the tad end of the pricier side. It's not god awful from what I remember but it's not like something I really want to have to pay every month so I mean, I go through a bottle of moisturizer a month, so it's kind of like when you're moisturizing day and night, and yeah, it's, it's not worth it unless you're getting a lot of uses out of it and it's cheap. Because, you know, I'm a snob. What can I say? Um, what is this? I have a razor blade in here, apparently, because I use Venus razors. I'm not sure why that's in there. It must have just fallen in there with Mama Trash. This is Pacifica Egyptian Bergamot Rose. This smelled so good. This was, I love Pacifica Fragrance. Their skincare is okay. Their makeup kind of sucks, I'll be honest. I don't like their makeup at all. But their fragrance stuff is outstanding. So if you have a hankering for a candle and you can find a place to smell these or you don't mind buying the little ones and, you know, spending a little bit of money, these were also a little on the expensive side, but totally worth it. It smells so good. It's it's just... It's, I really love rose, but I don't like super strong rose stuff, and that's really hard to find. And this had just enough rose in it that it made my room smell really good without it whacking my allergies. I really, really like that candle. Um, odd. I don't know where the lid for this one is. This is the spiked, sp the spiked, yeah, it's spiked. This is the spiced pumpkin cider from Bath and Body Works this fall, and I really like this one too. This was in the collection I got, the three minis. Um, that were in the tote that if you got like, if you spent like $50, you got the tote for 20 or something. So I bought the tote. Um, and this was one of the ones in there. And this is Orchard Fresh Pumpkin Apple Cider, Ground Nutmeg, and a Hint of Clementine Orange. And yeah, you could definitely smell it. I really like that candle. I wanted to buy a bigger version of that candle, but I didn't have the money to. This one is the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Candle from Bath & Body Works. This one smelled really good too. This one smelled like, let's see, Harvest Pumpkin, Sweet Vanilla Cream, and Ground Cinnamon Stick. This one kind of smells like pumpkin cinnamon rolls. Like, if you've ever made pumpkin cinnamon rolls, they're freaking to die for, and that's what this smells like. 
The next thing I have is a hair conditioner. This is the It's a 10 leave-in hair conditioner sample that I got from Ulta like forever ago. Um, I finally got around to using it up. I've had so many hair conditioner samples laying around from Birchbox and Ipsy and all my other subscription boxes. And this one was an Ulta sample. I really like this product. It made my hair very silky, very smooth. But I have so many to go through that I'm not going to go out and buy it because I have a ton of hair conditioner. Um, next up we have a... Oh, I really wish there was some more of this left. This is the Naobay Body Radiance Cream. There's absolutely none left in this. I used every drop of this. This was so freaking nice. This was a Birchbox sample. Um, Nail Bay Natural Organic Body Radiance Lotion. This smelled like lemons. Oh, I can still I can smell it on my hands. Yeah, this smelled like lemons. And I would buy the full size of this, but it's pricey. And you know me, I don't like to buy pricey stuff. So I didn't. But I really, 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 really like this. If somebody wants to get it for me, I would not complain. Um, this kind of is going on my holiday wish list because for, for my birthday in June and next holiday, if anybody wants to buy it for me, but I really like this. It was a really nice product. It left your hands really, really soft and it was wonderful. That was probably one of my favorite things. This was from an Ipsy bag and I never used it and I used it once. Excuse me. I didn't never use it. I used it once and I hated it. It didn't match my skin at all. It was oily. It was gross. And it is the DD Cream by Derma Doctor, and it's supposed to be a self-adjusting DD Cream. No, it does not self-adjust. It's just oily and nasty, and you can see it on your skin. It does not blend. I hated it. I used it once. I will not use the rest of it, so it's going in the trash. The next thing is these Lauren B. Beauty Nail Polish Remover Wipes. I think I got these in BoxyCharm. There were 15 of them. And they actually smelled really, really good. They smelled florally, and they got all of my nail polish off. They were a little on the oily side, but I kind of liked that because it, like, gave my cuticles a cuticle oil almost. So it was really kind of nice. I liked it a lot. And, I mean, people were complaining that they're oily, and I'm like, well, they're a nail polish remover wipe. They're kind of supposed to be oily, but whatever. Um, the next thing I have is a wallflower, and this was the Pumpkin Caramel Latte Wallflower. This was freaking awesome. This was also for the fall, and it doesn't say exactly what it smells like, but you can get the hint with Pumpkin Caramel Latte. That's what it smelled like, and it was wonderful. I had that in my bathroom. I have... Oh, this was really good, too. This was a shower gel. That's something I can't pronounce. Essential Elements Shower Gel. And it was a, I want to say this was a rosemary. Does it say on here? It doesn't even say, and that kind of irritates me because when you're going through these, you want to remember. Yes, yeah, so this was like rosemary and mint. I, I want to say I got this in Birchbox, I think. This was wonderful, though. It smelled so good, and it was so refreshing, and it was just like the wake-you-up shower gel. I would like a full size of this. I might actually keep this out to price it out and see if it's worth buying or not. I'm going to put that over there. Oh, this was my little bitty Glam Glow. This was a trial size that I got when I swapped with my sister. She wanted something out of my Ipsy bag. I wanted something out of hers, so we swapped, and I got this, and I tried it. This was really good for what it does, but the texture of it was god-awful. It was like putting tree bark and seaweed on your face and letting it sit there for 10 minutes, and it was really gross. However, it did do exactly what it says it did. My skin was nice and tight and refreshed and my pores were clean and I really liked it. I just didn't like the texture. If I could find this product without the texture issues, I would spend the money on it. It's also super duper 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 expensive. The little tiny bottle that's like the real size is like probably about the size of this and it's like $60, so not my cup of tea. Speaking of this, this is a Pons Rejuvenous sample size. I actually got this, I think, at Walmart, and it's not empty, but it's about halfway gone. I actually had some problems with this. I would go out in the sun and I would get burnt, and I looked it up, and that is apparently a problem with this product with some people, so I'm just going to toss the rest of it because it's not worth that for me. Uh, next thing is a... Oh, this is a number four prep and protect spray, um, leave-in conditioner spray thing, and I liked this. It was good, but it smelled really weird. It smells like wheat, and it had that, like, funky smell. Kind of grew on you as you were using it, but eh, it's not my cup of tea. 
Um, this is a generic bubble bath body wash and shampoo three in one that my daughter got and she wanted me to put it in my empties video. So here it is. Um, this was, I think, part of her birthday present from her grandma, and it was a three-in-one set for a bride, but, like, for a bachelorette night party thing, and, you know, bathe before you could go to your wedding. And she really liked it and got a kick out of it, so, hey, it was worth whatever my mom spent on it. Um, the next thing is Pacifica Hawaiian Ruby Guava Body Butter. Fabulous scent. Absolutely love this. Again, it's Pacifica. It is on the expensive side. But it smelled really, really good, and the effects of their body butter is long-lasting and wonderful and totally worth the $12 it costs for the big bottle. These, I think, are $7 or $7.50 for the little size. Weird, my camera stopped, and I don't know why. The next thing is an Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask, and this is a like leave-in while you take a shower and then wash it out when you're done. And I like this. It smelled like vanilla and... Yeah, it smelled really good. I like this a lot. Um, it did what it was supposed to do, and I really enjoyed it. it. Made my hair soft. Next thing is a shower gel. This is the Maui Hibiscus Beach Shower Gel from Bath and Body Works, and I really liked this scent. Mm, it smells like spring. It just is so fresh. This was Tropical Hibiscus Sparkling Mandarin with waves of watery melon and mango wood. This smelled really good. It was a very nice springy summer scent, and I had had it for a while, and I know we're going into winter, but I tend to, like, get the shower gels in the spring and summer and then use them in the fall and winter, because that's just how I roll, and I suck. Uh, like this one, which was Bally Mango. This was from a while ago, but I had it sitting in my shower for a really long time, and I knew I needed to use it up before it, like, went bad. So this was just a mango shower gel from Bath & Body Works. Mango, sugarcane, pink passion flower, and nectarine. And it smelled really good. It was from their summer collection. Not this past summer, but the summer before. And I, like I said, I just had some laying around. It was like half a bottle, so I figured I'd finish it off and empty it out. I have another, another number four, Prep and Protect. So I got two of those. One was in a uh, birch box and one was in an Ipsy, I think. Uh, this was the Real Chemistry Peel facial peel that I got. I think this was in Birchbox, and it was alright. I mean, it's a face peel, but it, nothing special. Um, this is Volume Accelerator Mascara in black. I got this... I think this was in one of my bags. It has a really weird, funky brush, but I didn't like it, and it's not waterproof, and I didn't like the formula, so it's not even really bad. Oh, there's the lid of my candle. It's not even bad, I just didn't like it, so it's going. Um, a Spiced Pumpkin Cider Wallflower, a Cranberry Woods Wallflower, can you tell I like wallflowers? Um, this was a Strawberry Wallflower, this was, this one doesn't have a tag. Oh, this was another one of those Vanilla Spice ones, this was a, a Vanilla Latte one. Um, this was, I want to say Raspberry? I can usually tell, like, but seriously, it's like it's frosted, so it's either strawberry or raspberry. This was sun ripened raspberry. I had a whole bunch of sun ripened raspberry laying around that was like, that is my all time favorite scent from Bath and Body Works. They discontinued it forever ago, and every once in a while they bring it back. And when they bring it back, I buy like $100 worth of products because I really like the scent. Um, and then I have one more wallflower. I think there's only one. I don't know what that is. Sounds like. Oh, this was the, this was the, um, the summer one with the caramel, summer boardwalk. That's what this one was, summer boardwalk. Freaking best smell ever. This is a Bath & Body Works candle. This was salted caramel. Oh my god. Can I just breathe this scent in for the rest of my life? Oh, this smelled so good. I was so mad when this, like, died, and I couldn't use it anymore. This was also really old. I've had this around for forever. And I got around to just letting it die out and burn. This was a eucalyptus spearmint candle from Bath & Body Works. This just relaxes me instantly. I smell it. My sister says it smells like a hospital, but I don't find so at all. I just find it super relaxing. But she doesn't like, you know, that kind of like eucalyptus minty smell. It always reminds her of sick people and like nursing homes and stuff. So she doesn't like it. Um, these were the simple 
oil balancing cleansing wipes. I liked these, but they're not my normal simple wipes and they were okay. They kind of had a weird funny smell to them and I'm not that oily, but I just, you know, needed wipes and that's what they had that day. Um, this was an Ipsy or a Birchbox, I can't remember. Anna Naturals Glowing Mama Body Scrub. No, this was a Beauty Box 5. Excuse me, this was a Beauty Box 5. Um, this is a little sample of a scrub. It's like a vegan scrub and it actually worked pretty good. I kind of dug it. It was just a little tiny sample though. This was a Marcel 8-in-1 Power Serum that I used up when I was doing my nightly routine. I didn't notice any difference. It's too small of a product to tell. This was a facial scrub. This was like putting kelp on my face. I hated it. I actually used probably about that much and then I stopped because I don't want to use the rest of it. It's gross. This was Sexy Bath and Body Lavender and Chamomile Bath Gel, Shower Gel, that kind of thing. Um, body wash. That's the word I'm looking for. Body wash. I really like this scent. This was a very relaxing scent, so I use this before bed. Yeah, and it's, it's very calming, so I really like that. I kind of would like to buy that in a big size. I had a little professional that I had used up. This is my absolute favorite primer. It is god awful expensive. This little tiny one is 10 bucks. The big one is 31, but every once in a while I buy it and I like it and I use it. That sample I think I bought um, as a travel thing along with my Their Real Benefit mascara. This dried up. I was very sad. I was so sad because this is my all time favorite mascara. And again, if anybody wants to buy me, I'm, I'm open to suggestions. This is a Benefit It's Potent Under Eye Creamer to get rid of your dark under eye circles. I really, really, really like this stuff. It works. I just need to use it continuously or my circles come back. So it's kind of like, okay, I'll spend the money and eventually spend the $31. This was an Ipsy sample that I hated. And I'm not going to use it. It smells great in the tube until I put it on my hands and then it smells like I rubbed dog food on my hands. This was the Mango Mandarin Fig and Rouge Hand Cream. It freaking sucks. It's awful. So, like, seriously, it smells like I literally went in... When I put it on my hands, like, it smells really good in the tube. It smells like it's supposed to. It smells like mangoes and mandarin oranges. And I was like, oh, it's going to smell amazing. And then I put it on my hands, and it literally smelled like I went into a wet dog food bowl, picked up dog food, rubbed it all over my hands, and that's what it smelled like. So no thank you, I don't want to have wet dog food smell on my hands. And the very, very last thing I have is a sample that I got, I believe, in Beauty Box 5, and this was the Micro Oil Shampoo and Micro Oil Cream Conditioner from Biolage, the exquisite oil collection. It was just foil sample packets, and I used those up. I didn't notice any difference in my hair because, again, it's one-time use only. How are you going to be able to tell if a product really works in one use? You're not. So that is all of my empties. We are now back. To oh, my God. I lifted up the trash bag and everything spilled out. Fabulous. Wonderful. We are back to an empty empties container. You like my empty empties container? I do. I got this for 99 cents at Goodwill. So we are now back to an empty empties container, and that is all of my empties this month. I know for a fact I have some more stuff coming up that's going to be empty in the next week or so, and I will just add it to this until it's full, and then I'll do another one. Hopefully my camera is cooperating and I can actually edit this video and I won't have to remake it or do anything stupid. And again, I will get my mother's gigantic lamp and hopefully be able to have better lighting for my next video. I know I can't autofocus, but I can at least have better light. So I will hopefully be able to do that for you guys and be able to do that for when I open all of my boxes and maybe I'll even look prettier and not be in my pajamas and red faced and annoyed and about ready to go to sleep. So yeah, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and I will see you all very soon.